Hello and welcome to this video on moments and turning effects. You need to know that a moment is the turning effect from a force. This is the equation we're going to be looking at today. We have distance over here that is measured in metres. We have force that is measured in newtons. And we have the moment that is measured in Newton meters. meters. So for this demonstration, I made myself a series of weights. And this is just to show you that they all weigh the same, 8 grams each. This is my setup for showing you moments and turning effect. You can see in this video I'm applying the weights here and my pivot is here. So there's a very, very short distance between my weights and my pivot. So these are 8 gram weights I'm putting on. As you can see the Diet Coke can, which I will admit I have blue tacked to the end of the ruler so that it doesn't fall off. As I apply the weights, nothing really happens here. The can of Coke, which is empty, doesn't really move very much. And I end up applying 11 weights to the end and nothing happens. In this demonstration, I've moved the pivot so it's halfway along the ruler, much closer to the um, can, and this is where the force is going to be applied again. So if we just watch this, you'll notice I'm applying the weights to the end again. Primrose is very interested. We're starting to get a bit of movement, a bit of movement there. That's six weights I had to apply there to get the can of coke to move. Here I've put the pivot right next to the can of coke. And you can see, once Primrose gets out of the way, that right from the beginning there's movement and I only need to add two weights on to get the can of coke to lift up. So what I showed you there was how changing the length or the distance from the pivot can change the effect. I'm just going to show this to you again um, using this diagram here. So the equation that we're going to be using, remember, is the moment equals the force times the distance. Now for this I want you to imagine that the force is the same. So the force down here is both times going to be 10 newtons, but I'm changing the distance each time. So in this circumstance here, I'm going to say the distance is 0.5 metres. And in the second circumstance, I'm going to say that I've doubled the distance, so that it is 1 metre. So if we look at the top situation, our moment is going to be our force, which is 10, times our distance, which is 0.5. This is equal to 5 newton metres. In the lower one, I've doubled the distance. So my equation again is moment equals force times distance. My force is still 10 newtons, but I've doubled my distance to 1 metre. This gives me a moment of 10 newton metres, double the first situation. Another way we could look at this is when we uh, double the distance from the force to the pivot, we don't have to put the same amount of work in as we did. So just to recap, this is uh, 10 newtons, this is uh, 0.5 metres, moment equals force times distance, force is 10, distance is 0.5, this gives us a moment of 5 newton metres. In this situation, I'm going to reduce the, oops, wrong one. I'm going to reduce the force to 5 newtons. I've doubled the distance to 1 metre. So again, moment equals force times distance. Our force here is 5 newtons times 1 metre, our distance. That makes the same force, 5 newton metres. The other thing that's important to remember 
is that when we're looking at force here, it is the force straight down from the direction um, that the force is being applied. And it's this distance here that we are interested in. So in this circumstance here, we've got force being applied um, not directly um, in a right angle to what we're applying the force to. So in this circumstance, we will trace the line down and the line across, and this here would be the distance that we'd be looking for. So I've been talking about levers like this. I just want to point out to you that the spanner, um, which is an example they may use in your exam, is exactly the same as the example I've been talking about. It's just the pivot is here, right at the end of the lever, and the force will maybe be applied here. You just need to remember, and it's always a good thing to remember in life, that if you can't get uh, something undone, like this nut here, if you go and get a longer screwdriver, a longer spanner, sorry, it'll be easier for you to do.